I didn't actually set out to be a coach. I, I uh, you know, in college had a, a, a vision of going to law school. I, I was going to get an accounting minor and and, and kind of be a tax account, you know, a tax lawyer. Is I know that sounds like a, a very exciting profession, but um, and kind of a roundabout story when I was playing basketball at uh, at, at Mississippi College, a uh, now Division two school in in Jackson, Mississippi, around Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, my coach came to me uh, in the middle of kind of a transition for me, and 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 there was a high school that was in need of a coach. Um, you know, I and kind of a long story short, became a head high school coach at the age of 20, um, which is one of the youngest uh, ever in the state of Mississippi. And when I started doing that, I started seeing the impact that you could, you know, have in coaching. Um, again, just did that for a couple years. Uh, and, and thought it was just, you know, hey, I was going to finish out school and, and, and go to law school. And uh, just I, I, faith is really important to me. And, and God just kept opening doors and, and showing me that there was purpose in that. And so I always tell people I feel like it was a, a calling to get into, get into coaching. And so started at 20 and, and, and haven't, you know, haven't stopped since and, and just enjoying the ride. Recruiting is one of my favorite parts about the job. You know, I, I think it's, uh, you know, for us in, in college, you know, you, are, there's, a, there's a kind of a decision to, to join a family, decision to invite someone to join a family. And so I think first and foremost, I always say that, that character is the price of admission into our program. So you have to be uh, a young man of character. Well, what does that mean? You know, you, you, life can't be all about you. Like there's got to be an element of selflessness, humility. Um, you know, I do, uh, you know, look for someone that, that, that has a, uh, you know, obviously a, a background of, you know, whether it's coaches that, that kind of validate, you know, parents, obviously, you know, friends that, that talk about like, you know, work ethic, you know, a guy that works well with others. Um, and so obviously first and foremost, we're trying to find, you know, men of character, guys that, that put others first, that, that are going to roll their sleeves up that, you know, are going to come in and, and be fun for these guys to be around. Right. Like, you know, you're essentially, you know, this, you're around, you know, our teammates and our staff more than you are your own family. And so are you a guy that, that others are going to enjoy being around? Um, and I always say, are you someone that is worthy to be looked up to? Cause you know, in college basketball, we have, you know, the unique uh, opportunity for these guys to, to these, you know, young people to come, that kids come and they look up to these student athletes. Are you someone that's worthy for that young man or young girl to, to, to look up to and say, you know, I want to be like them one day? And so first and foremost, that's what we're looking for. Um, and then obviously, like from a talent standpoint, you know, uh, there's a lot of guys that can play, you know, college basketball. There's a lot of talented guys out there. But can you pair the, the character piece with a guy that's talented enough to compete at the highest level in junior college basketball? You know, we're, we're no if and buts about it. We're trying to compete for a national championship every year. Um, and so, you know, you've got to be able to compete at the highest level and, and hopefully have dreams and aspirations to use this as a, as a platform to, you know, shoot you into Division One. You know, I grew up um, in, a, in a single parent household. Um, and, and my coaches, you know, really helped me kind of understand a lot of things about life, you know, and especially my basketball coaches, cause that was a sport. I played football, baseball, basketball, but my basketball coaches, especially one in particular, um, I really kind of looked up to and, and I saw the impact that, that he had in my life. Now, again, I didn't think that coaching was a profession that I wanted to, to go into, but God showed me um, through him, through remembering, you know, the relationship I had with him, but also through uh, a ministry that I got involved in that the game of basketball, that little orange ball can can connect you with people that you otherwise couldn't connect with. And that gives you an opportunity to, to help others lives and make an impact. And I think ultimately in life, you know, it's it's about making an impact where you are and, and doing a profession to where you can make a difference in others lives. And so. I see that. I see that in coaching, especially to be honest, in junior college coaching. And 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 I've had a blast, you know, the past few years at the highest level of college basketball. But 
I really, you know, when I, when I think about my co coaching career, my time in junior college was really where I felt I had the most impact. Um, and ultimately, you know, we've got to be about helping, you know, others. Because uh, I always tell, like I mentioned, like, you know, about character, I tell our guys, if life's all about you, then it's not going to be very fun. And, and you've got to be like willing to pour into others to make others better and put others before yourself. And so I think, you know, coaching is a way that, that you, you know, if you're going to do this right, you've got to put others before yourself and you've, you've got to put others first. And so, um, you know, ultimately that's why I do it because I feel like I can have an impact in young men's lives and really help them and their families for the future. four C's with us. And, you know, and the first C I mentioned was, you know, character is the price of admission. You've got to be a man of character, whether you're a member of our staff, whether you're a player before you even get into this program. Um, and after that, you know, you've got to care. You know, the second C is care. And, and just like I tell, you know, our guys, like if you care about something, if you really, you know, desire to do something at a high level, you're going to spend time doing it. Um, and so you've got to be willing to invest a lot of time. And so you're going to show me if you care about, you know, playing basketball by the time you invest into it. You know, to me, to me, guys like using a bank analogy are wanting to go to the bank and make withdrawals without making deposits. Are you willing to make the necessary deposits before you go and try to withdraw something? And so um, you got to care. you got to love it. you got to really want to do this at a high level. Um, and then our third C is communicate. We got to be, you know, I, I, I go by, I love, you know, Coach Sampson at Houston. He says, you can always hear a great team. And so we've got to be a team that communicates on the floor, that communicates defensively, offensively, but also, you know, kind of take it a step further because everything we do is, can we take it a step further than just basketball? And we've got to be a group that communicates outside of basketball, like whether it's in, you know, the dorm, whether it's communicating, you know, issues going on, you know, in our lives, you know, and, and, and having an open door policy, because this is not a transactional deal. This is a relationship, relational deal. And so we're going to obviously have a relationship with our players, um, but they, you know, need to have relationships with each other. So we need to communicate and talk. And, you know, as we know, like, you know, the more you talk to somebody, the more that you get to know somebody and the better your relationships are. So you got to be able to communicate. And then the fourth C is we're going to compete at the highest level. Um, you know, life throws us adversity. And so we're going to compete regardless of the adversity that we're facing. We're going to we're going to show toughness um, regardless of the situations that we're in. Um, you know, whether we're, you know, up or down, we're going to compete at the same level. There's like the scoreboard should never define the way that we're competing. Um, and so, so those are kind of what we are as a program and what we're going to kind of stand on. The relationships, um, you know, just being able to, to go in and, and, and get to work with, uh, with these young men, you know, and, you know, especially here um, in particular, they, they come in with a chip on their shoulder for the most part because for some reason, you know, it, it, everybody wants to go to NCAA Division One, And for some reason, you know, whether it's academics, whether it was it didn't work out of Division One, whether it's, you know, someone told them they're not quite good enough to be a Division One player, um, there's a reason why, you know, they didn't get to their ultimate goal. And so I love, you know, taking you know whatever that chip is using that chip and really just on a daily basis like getting better we talk about like the the aggregate of marginal gains just you know can we get one percent better today and and the compound effect of that over time is going to you know show remarkable results and so um you know i love that i love just coming in with a with a purpose each and every day and then just being able to walk with these guys like you know i think you know some of the best things you know in my life is is guys that I've coached in the past call me maybe when some difficult things pop up and just them allowing me and, and, and then obviously like me meaning enough to them that they would reach out and, and kind of present, you know, hey, like, what's your thoughts on this? And so, uh, you know, ultimately, like, you can't get better than that. Like in, in some guys that, you know, maybe when, when you're going through the, the, the fire, so to speak, with them and they weren't quite getting you know, the things that you're trying to teach them Well, five, you know, seven, 10 years down the road, them calling it back and, you know, saying, you know, I kind of get what you're saying then. Not kind of, but I do. And, and then at the end of the conversation, I remember, you know, I've had a lot over the, they tell me they love me because they understand that like discipline back in the, it was a form of me showing them love. And so um, that's, that's why I do it. 
you know, this is a great place. You know, it's not, um, I mean, we're very lucky to a live in Melbourne, Florida, um, in this area. Um, but also just the history of the athletic programs here, you know, coach Jeremy Schulman, who's a, a wonderful friend of mine, uh, did a fantastic job here. I mean, obviously, you know, everybody knows that he's the all-time winningest coach here and the, the level of success that he had. Um, so ultimately coming here, you're choosing to live up to that standard, right? And so um, that's what I tell them is like, you know, if you're not going to be elite in every aspect, whether it's basketball, you know, academics off the floor, just with the standard that Coach Schulman set, um, then don't come here because this is, you know, this is one of the top programs in the United States of America. Um, and then not just for men's basketball, but you look across our 13 sports, like, I mean, it's the top program in each respective sport. And so um, this is a place where, where, yeah, you're going to enjoy it. It's a great place to live. But ultimately, it's a place where winning and, and doing things with excellence is like held in a very high standard. And so um, I think, uh, you know, always talk about, you know, the, as, as Proverbs says, like, you know, iron sharpens iron. I think, you know, in this athletic department that we make each other better because we're constantly pushing, raising the bar. Um, and I, I can see why it wasn't just, you know, Coach Schulman men's basketball winning here. It's, you know, it's every sport because the standard is the standard, so to speak. And so um, I think it, it almost sells itself. You know, why it's more why would you not come to Eastern Florida is a question. And so that's what I tell people. And and so we uh, you know, we've we've had our fair share of guys that want to come and play here.